What's up YouTube, it's Daniel, and today I wanted to go over the top five mistakes that I've made as a young entrepreneur and that I see a lot of other young entrepreneurs making. So basically I just wanted to cover the top five mistakes that I've seen and kind of how to avoid them, what they are, etc. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. So number one, I would say this is focusing on too many things at once, getting kind of paralyzed in all of your thoughts, you know, paralysis by analysis. And this has happened to me quite a bit, and I'm sure it happens to a lot of you as well. You know, where you'll have an idea, and then you'll get another idea, and another idea, and you'll kind of just get lost in your thoughts, and it'll be super overwhelming, and you'll end up doing nothing at all, and just kind of sitting there thinking about it rather than taking action, which is really the thing that separates the successful from the unsuccessful when it comes to entrepreneurship. So if there's one piece of advice that I could give, and I'm not perfect at this either, is, you know, just always make sure you're taking action. Just make an action plan and stick to it, and that's the most important thing that you have to do to be successful is just action, action, action. So, you know, no matter how many good ideas you have, if you have a good idea and you want to implement it later, write it down. But make sure you have a plan for the month, the week, the day, and just write your goals, write your anything you need to get done down, and just stick to that and do that. And that is your number one priority. And if you do that, you will eventually see success. And just make sure you don't get paralyzed in your thoughts. The second biggest mistake I see entrepreneurs make is a lot of times entrepreneurs, before they even start a business, they'll be... You know super amped up and they have this great new idea that's gonna change the world and that's great but you know if you're just trying to make some extra side money on some if you're just trying to hustle on the side and make some extra income on the side for your you know family or yourself then you know you don't have to just reinvent something totally new you know it takes a lot of money and a lot of marketing and just pushing to just totally you know make something brand new from the ground up and, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people just watch like Shark Tank and they think like, oh, entrepreneurs just invent something new. And, you know, that's how, what an entrepreneur is. But really, you're just, you know, thinking outside of the box. You can use the Internet now and the Internet's super powerful. There are tons of ways to make money online, you know, that are already proven business models that you can just pick up and learn how to do yourself. Like affiliate marketing, Amazon. I have videos on both of those. And I've taken courses on both of those and the links are in the description if you want to check them out. But basically just find something that is already working and you can, you know, change it a little bit or put your own little spin on it. But at the end of the day, if you do something that you know is working and it fails, you know that it failed because of you, not because the idea sucks or the, you know, the business didn't work. So I think that's the number two thing that I see a lot of is just people trying to create brand new things rather than going off of models and people that have already been successful. You know, just stick to what you know works and if it doesn't work, it's your own fault. So number three on the entrepreneur mistakes would definitely be the wrong motivation. So a lot of people are just motivated by the money or you know, the fame, and that's just the wrong kind of mentality to go at it with. You know, you can like those things, and those can be good, obviously, but if that's the only thing you care about, you're most likely not going to last through all of the struggles and the, you know, mountains and the valleys of entrepreneurship. It's just a lot of ups and downs, a lot of uncertainty and hard work, and it kind of takes a bigger passion than just monetary or, you know, popularity to actually persevere through all of these challenges and get to the other side. So I would say you need a little bit more of a motivation. You know, maybe you don't want to work for somebody else or maybe you're, you know, you want the freedom like I do where you can just have enough money to be financially independent and, you know, buy things without thinking twice and, you know, donate money without thinking twice and just be able to live without the, you know, financial strangle that a lot of people find themselves in in their adult years so just make sure you have the right motives and you're not just doing it for the short-term cash and you're really doing it and you're going to stick to it for a long time because you care more about the money because you care more about the end goal of you know changing lives and making a difference than just making some quick money to you know spend on whatever you want 
because you'll have a lot better chance of actually succeeding and being there for the long term and pushing through those struggles if you have the right motives. So the fourth thing on my list is just perfection. Thinking something has to be perfect or thinking something has to be the perfect time. And it's just not true because it's never going to be perfect. Like, no matter what you think would make the situation perfect, perfection is just impossible. And if you're always striving to make something perfect, you're never going to be putting out enough content or you're never going to be doing enough stuff because it's not the perfect time. And the biggest thing, like I said earlier, is just taking action. So, you know, if you're always worried about something being perfect, then you're never going to take enough action because nothing's ever perfect. And I think just making that realization that it doesn't have to be perfect, but you're still going to just keep going and keep going and stay consistent is a major eye opener for a lot of entrepreneurs and including myself. But, you know, just stay consistent. Don't worry about perfection. People have different views of perfection than you do. So something you might not think is perfect, others might think is perfect or really valuable. So just do you and do as much as you can, but don't worry about being perfect because at the end of the day, it's never perfect. And if you're always worrying about being perfect, you're just never going to go anywhere. And number five, and this is a big one that I see a lot of people struggling with, and I've definitely struggled with this in the past, just like all the other five, but just focusing on the wrong things and not, not focusing on small improvements. And what do I mean by that? Basically... You know, everybody's like, you know, oh, I'm going to make, you know, $3,000 in one month, you know, the first month of entrepreneurship, or I'm going to do this in the first month, or, you know, get rich quick, or, you know, I want to be famous and all these different things. And it's just, you're never going to reach the end goal if you're always, th you have to be thinking about the end goal, but that can't be your only goal. So if I, you know, have a goal of, you know, reach a million subs on YouTube. And that's the only goal I ever think about. Like, that's good, but that's not enough of a direct focus on what I actually need to be doing right now. So it's like, you know, I want to get a million subs on YouTube, and that's great, but how do I get there? You know, first I have to get one sub, then two subs, then three subs, and then what do I have to do to get one sub? Well, I got to post a video, right? And then, you know, what kind of people do I want? And all these different things that you need to focus on in the now and that you need to take action on now are way more important to actually getting you there than actually just thinking about it and dreaming, you know? So basically just focus on what you can do right now. Like what can I take action on right now to get me closer to where I wanna be? And if you focus on that every single day and that only, like I said earlier about, you know, just taking action, taking action, just focus on the right now. You know, you can make your goals and that's great and focus on stuff in the future too, but 99.9% .9 of the time you should be focusing on right now and what you should be doing right now to get where you want to be in the future. So those are my five biggest mistakes I see entrepreneurs make and I really just wanted to make this video kind of to shed some light on some issues that I've had in my experiences with entrepreneurship and maybe to help some of you out just to avoid the same mistakes that I've made. So if you guys liked the video, please leave a like, drop a comment, let me know what you think, let me know if you think I missed anything, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.